Hello again, Vinyl Community. This is Matt, and today this is just a real quick video uh, taking a look at my cassette collection. I don't have too many, maybe about 20 or 25 cassettes, um, but I do like cassettes. I, I grew up with them, so it does have a nostalgia factor of sorts. Not as much as vinyl, but um, yeah, for a little while, for a, a few years, maybe from when I was like 11 or 12 in the very late 80s, or early 90s. Um, I I have to admit I started to prefer cassettes over vinyl. That's not the case anymore. Don't worry. But uh, for a while, you know, as a kid, it seemed like well, cassettes don't have the 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 popping. Um, cassettes don't skip. You don't get a lot of static and noise. Of course, now in reality, that's not exactly true. You can get quite a lot of background noise, a lot of hissing with cassettes. But uh, as a kid, I didn't know any better. You know, I just thought well. It seemed like cassettes didn't wear out, whereas records could wear out. And it, it, of course, it's really the opposite. If you take care of records, they'll last decades and decades. Uh, whereas even cassettes, even if you're taking care of them, if you play them a lot, um, the more times you play them, gradually you start to lose a little bit of fidelity with time, as you do with vinyl records as well, of course. But I think it's more noticeable with cassettes. But, but anyway, let's um, let's go and have a look at. Okay, so I keep all of the cassettes in a uh, little cassette storage rack here. Um, I pulled out the, the main two trays just so you can take a look. So let's go through them. Okay, we start off with Alison Moyer, Rain Dancing. Um, this was a, a recent thrift store acquisition. Actually, most of these came from thrift stores. Tunnel of Love by Bruce Springsteen. Great album. Speaking of great albums, we have Carol King Tapestry that doesn't want to come out. There we go. Um, I have this on vinyl too, but uh, yeah, it's a great album. A lot of good songs on it. Okay. Def Leppard High and Dry. And the legendary Def Leppard Hysteria. I have this on vinyl and on CD as well. One of my favorite albums. This is quite a recent find. This is Elvis Pure Gold. Foreigner Agent Provocateur. And now, somewhat curiously, I have three Garth Brooks albums. I have uh, No Fences. And Rope in the Wind. And finally, The Chase. Um, these again, I just found these in thrift stores, and I, I actually quite like Garth Brooks, I don't mind them. Next up we have, if I can get that back in, there we go. George Michael, Listen Without Prejudice, Volume 1. Kind of funny, of course, there never was a Volume 2. And one of the f first cassettes I got when I first started getting back into the uh, vintage audio kick in excess bit of a legendary album. I have this on CD, I do not have it on vinyl. Next we have Iron Butterfly, Inagata de Vida. Uh, this, um, this is an album that I've seen other people speak about. Uh, to be honest with you, I haven't listened to it yet, not really. And I really ought to because um, from what I understand it's regarded as one of the better if not best albums. Of course that's all subjective, but uh, yeah, I, I will take a listen to him. Okay, Isaac Hayes, Hot Buttered Soul. And the last cassette in the first rack, Matthew Wilder, I Don't Speak the Language. Uh, this, of course, includes um, Break My Stride, classic 80s song. Okay, moving on to the second drawer here. Meat Love, Bad Out of Hell. This has uh, some writing on the edge of it that it was like it when I got it. What can you do? Michael Jackson, bad. Um, this is a pretty recent thrift store purchase. I featured it in one of my earlier videos. And we have the Moody Blues. Early Blues, a complete collection. Um, this is some of the earlier stuff. It does have Go Now on it. Um, which of course was a, at least a UK number one. 
I think. And um, yeah, it just has a bunch of earlier tracks in the movie list. Okay, next up we have Pink Floyd Relics. Contains a lot of legendary Floyd songs, Arnold Lane, C. Emily Played, Stella Overdrive. Oh, and of course, careful with that axe, Eugene. <laughs> then we have Pink Floyd Works. Uh, pretty similar to Relics. Um, it has a few differences, like this has uh, set the controls for the heart of the sun, but it has a lot of overlap too. Um, oh, it also has one of these days. But we also get like Arnold Lane, um, C. Emily Play, and, and some other tracks that are on Relics. Next up, Delicate Sound of Thunder, Pink Floyd. For some reason, I only have uh, one of the cassettes, and it's cassette one, um, I think. Let's check. Um, yeah, this is cassette one. Yeah, This was uh, an eBay purchase. I bought it with the other two Floyd albums. Didn't realize at the time that I was only getting one of the cassettes. Luckily, I have this on vinyl. Okay, next up we have Rat out of the cellar. Real McCoy, Another Night. This is a, well, apparently a 50 cent thrift store purchase. Uh, I just got this because it has Another Night on it, which is a a bit of a classic dance track from the mid-90s. It reminds me of my childhood. Next up we have Rush, Roll the Bones, including the excellent Dream Lion. Then, this one's going to be tricky to get out. There we go. Simply Red, Men and Women. Um, I don't remember if this was the first album, but it's one of the first albums. Of course, it includes The Right Thing and Every Time We Say Goodbye. Those are the, the main two hits off the album. Steve Miliband, Living in the USA. This includes The Joker. Um, and, of course, the title track, Living in the USA. But I just bought it for The Joker. Next up we have Psychotic Supper by Tesla. Also another Tesla track, Five Man Acoustical Jam. Vangelis, Chariots of Fire, uh, this is from the, uh, the soundtrack. The track is self-titled, I didn't know anything about this album, but it's not bad, it's sort of a modern southern rock meets kind of modern country. And finally, another recent purchase, the uh, soundtrack from Dirty Dancing. Got some good tracks on this actually. We got, uh, of course, I've had the time of my life. Um, Patrick Swayze, She's Like the Wind. Hungry Eyes by, Eyes by Eric Carmen. Vintage 80s. And then I have just a very few, well, I have some like blank cassettes and things, but I have just a very few um, cassette singles. I don't know if, uh, if any of you guys who maybe didn't grow up when cassettes were uh, when cassettes were king. Of course, you know how you you had um, forty fives, which were record singles. You also had cassette singles, which just had one song. Um, well, usually two. You know, you'd have one song on side A, one one song on side B. And uh, then later, once CDs took over, you had CD singles as well. But yeah, cassette singles kind of a Crazy things. It seems like sort of a waste of plastic in a way, but um, I picked all of these up at the same thrift store at one time. Um, so Collective Soul, December, Donna Lewis, I Love You Always Forever. Uh, and this looks like it actually has um, a few different tracks on it. Yeah. Looks like it has the same tracks on side one and side two, but at least it has three songs. Dwight Yoakam, Ain't the Lonely Yet, but I actually bought this for the B-side, which is A Thousand Miles From Nowhere. And finally, Life is a Highway, Tom Cochran. And it looks like the B-side was Emotional Truth. Yeah. Uh, this looks pretty sure. This may have just one track on each side. I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't remember. So yeah, that's um, that's all the cassettes right there. I do have a little stack over here and move this out the way and this, um, 
some blank cassettes over here. Uh, I'll probably do a video where I talk about cassettes and the different cassette types that you can get and so on. And of course the uh, the cassette deck is down here. The um, Pioneer CTF555, it's still doing well. Still sounds good. Um, I'm still waiting for the rest of the uh, the hi-fi components to come. I know they they had some snow in the Midwest, which delayed some of my eBay items. Um, so I'm still waiting for a tuner, still waiting for the graphic equalizer. The graphic equalizer was supposed to come today, but I'm guessing it probably will arrive on Monday now. And uh, yeah, I'll send a, an unboxing video. I'll post an unboxing video once. Hey guys, well, thanks for once watching. Arrived. That was my little uh, little cassette video. I've been meaning to do that for a while. Um, if any of you guys have a cassette collection, if you like collecting tapes, um, I'd love to see your videos or love to just read a list of the, the type of cassettes that you have. For me, I don't tend to seek them out. Um, there is a record store near me, actually two, that, that sells cassettes, if you're willing to pay kind of four, five, six dollars a time. Um, but most all of the cassettes I have have a kind of 50 cent, 99 cent thrift store purchases. I think I did buy a few of them online, like the three Pink Floyd uh, tapes I bought online. Um, maybe one or two others, but three quarters of them are, are, to, are thrift store finds. So it's just a matter of looking out when I go to thrift stores, looking out for cassettes, seeing what I can get. And I'll, I'll gradually add some more. I did, um, you might have noticed a gap in the first tray. I did used to have a couple of other tapes, but they weren't playing very well on my new tape deck for some reason. Whereas all the others that are still in here, the other 90% of them seem to play fine for, for whatever reason. So. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, as always. Until next time.